Today we'll be meeting the top 10 Nigerians who are richer than Aliko Dangote, the richest man in Africa. Nigerians know that there are Nigerians who are not on the Forbes list of the richest people in the world that are far richer than Aliko Dangote, the richest man in Africa. In the world of wealth and power, the publics have uncovered these billionaires who have climbed the ladder of sources even higher than the legendary Aleko Dangote himself. So get ready for a journey through opulence and intriguing. And if today is your first time seeing my channel, kindly subscribe, hit the notification button and share this video. Starting off strong, we have the General Theophilus Danjuma, the oil magnate and shipping expert whose empire and influence stretches far beyond Nigeria. General Theophilus Yakubo Danjuma GCON is a Nigerian politician and retired lieutenant general who played a key role in post-independence military and political events in Nigeria. Sir Danjuma amassed an enormous fortune through shipping and petroleum. He was the chief of army staff from July 1975 to October 1978 and also the defense minister of Nigeria from 1999 to 2003. General Theophilus Danjima owns various assets including international hotels, real estate and oil blocks. General Theophilus Danjima is the first Nigerian to donate the largest sum of philanthropic money which is the sum of $100 million to the needy in Nigeria, a sum which is more than three times the amount Dangote used to build his mansion in Abuja, which cost him $30 million. Also, General Theophilus Danjima is married to Senator Desi Danjima, one of the top richest women in Nigeria. Overall, General Theophilus Danjima could be praised for his business acumen, politics, military, and philanthropy. In fact, it is important to know that the exact amount of his net worth remains disputed and unknown to the general public. And uh, when I need money, if I'm broke, I go to Okoya. <laughs> Next up is Chief Razak Akoni Okoya the mastermind behind Nigeria's local industry revolution. Chief Razak Okoya is a billionaire industrialist and the array of Lagos. He is the owner and founder of Eleganza Group of Companies, which has a market spanning West Africa. Born in Lagos, Nigeria in 1940, Chief Okoya successfully founded Eleganza Industries in 1975, focusing on cutlery and tableware and later expanded into other sectors like hotels, printing, and real estate. Sir Okoya grew Eleganza Group into a major conglomerate with businesses across Nigeria and beyond. Chief Okoya is so wealthy that even the president of Nigeria, President Bola Metinobu, asks for fun whenever he's in need. Some online sources cite Chief Okoya's figures in the billions of dollars but without verification. Its extensive business holdings suggest significant wealth, but the exact amount remains unknown. <laughs> and the next is Alaji Aminu Al Hassan Dantata, the patriarch of the great Dantata dynasty. He is a man of great magnanimity and an iconic symbol of Nigeria's generational wealth. Alaji Dantata is a prominent Nigerian businessman and philanthropist born in Kano State in 1931. He is the head of a group of companies that manages his real estate and other business ventures and was also involved in several notable enterprises throughout his career. And the story of the famous granite pyramid in Kano is not complete without paying tribute to the astounding businessman and philanthropist called Alaji Dantata. And as usual, his exact figures remain somewhat uncertain due to the nature of his private assets 
an investment. That is, the exact value of its net worth remains debatable due to limited publicly available information. Lest I forget, do you know with 500 million naira you can pay and park into this five bedroom duplex with a BQ located in the very heart of Ikate area of Lekki in Lagos, Nigeria, with the features with all room and suit, fitted kitchens water eater family lord water treatment and 24-hour security with a good automated gate control system if you're interested in this governor concept property then reach out to this number and the next is general muhammad Bari retired general muhammad Bari served as the 15th president of nigeria from 2015 to 2023 Born in 1942 in the Dara area of Kastana State in Nigeria to becoming the head of state in 1983. While in 2015, he publicly declared his assets of his real estate and furniture valued at 3 million naira, his farms, cattle, and shares in the Unity Bank PLC were all valued considerably. But as at the time leaving office, no reliable estimate were available due to limited public information and potential private assets. But one thing is certain, with the likes of the former governor of the central bank, Governor Godwin MFLA and the aviation minister and so many members of his cabinet who are extremely wealthy. Therefore, one could say that the former president is in safe hands of abundance. <laughs> Chief Olusha Gwamba Sanjo is a former military leader and a two-term president of Nigeria, holding significant influence in the country's political and economic landscape. Born in Abekuta, Nigeria in 1937, Chief Olusha Gwamba Sanjo served as military head of state of Nigeria from 1976 to 1979 and was also elected president of nigeria in 1999 and 2003 serving two times sir olusha gomba sanjo owns one of the biggest farm in nigeria called oba sanjo farm of nigeria he owns a north real estate as a private university and as well founded the olusha gomba sanjo presidential library and the olusha gomba sanjo foundation and remain active in international and domestic politics, advocating for peace and democracy. Chief Olusha Gwamba Sanjo's legacy remains complex and is viewed by the general public as one who is richer than Ali Kodangote. Also, his exact net worth remains largely unknown and disputed. General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida IBB, as fondly called, served as the military president of Nigeria from 1985 to 1993. Born in Mina, Niger State in 1941, is credited with infrastructure development and economic reforms in Nigeria. He owns real estate, founded the Ibrahim Babangida Library and Archives, and Wikipedia rumored him to have over $5 billion based on alleged ownership of stakes in companies through proxies and Forbes in 2011 assumed him channeling oil windfall profit into personal wealth. His net worth is highly controversial and lack transparency, yet remains very influential in Nigeria politics, though not holding official positions. Invest in women. The next is Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abaka is a Nigerian politician and businessman who served as the vice president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007 during the presidency of Olusegun Obasanjo. Born in 1946 in Adamawa State, Nigeria, Abubaka worked in the Nigeria Customs Service for 20 years, rising to become the deputy director. Also, he entered into real estate in 1974 and got a sizable portfolio of property in Yola before moving into agriculture and as well entering into logistics, setting up Nigeria Container Service called NICOT before turning into 
Intel's Nigeria. Atiku is a co-founder of Intel's Nigeria Limited, an oil servicing business with extensive operation in Nigeria and abroad. Some of his businesses include the Adamawa Beverages Limited, Animal Field Factory, and the American University of Nigeria. Therefore, he is rumored to be among the top 10 Nigerians that are richer than Aliko Dangote. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is a prominent figure in Nigerian politics, currently serving as the 16th president of Nigeria since 2023. He has worked in accounting and oil exploration before becoming the senator in 1991 the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007. There is no clear details about his sources of wealth due to no official declaration of assets. But one thing is certain, he has built so many billionaires and multi-billionaires in all spheres of life in Nigeria, and this has made him very relevant and influential and wealthy in Nigeria. The last but not the least, General Sonny Abacha is the most powerful defense minister and Nigeria's head of state. Even in absentia, Nigeria has received so much funds from many international banks and as well got the largest forfeiture in the history of SWIFT's authority by seizing over $480 million linked to General Sonny Abacha. Its net worth remains highly disputed and unknown. But Transparency International estimated its network to be from $1 billion to $5 billion, but emphasized difficulty in obtaining accurate figure. And of course, General Sonia Bachar's true figure will likely exceed this estimate due to aiding assets and lack of transparency. Thank you for watching. And if today is your first time, kindly subscribe to my channel.